I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching the Watercraft Journal. In the last two and a half years, 54% of new personal watercraft sales have gone to first time owners. These are people who've never owned a personal watercraft before, and in many cases have never owned a boat. So what we'd like to do today is provide a few simple tricks and tips that will help you have a very stress-free experience when it comes to launching your personal watercraft. Obviously everything that we cover today is not going to be exact for your application, but hopefully it can make life a lot easier so that when it comes time for you to launch your personal watercraft, you're able to check off these things and be able to get your ski in the water without any trouble and have a really great day on the water. So now that you've pulled into the launch ramp, you want to get your ski ready to hit the water, but you definitely don't want to be the guy who's holding up the ramp and causing a big line of people. So if your particular launch ramp has a staging lane, you're going to want to pull your car in there and get your ski ready to hit the water in that spot. But if they don't have a staging lane, you're going to want to find an empty parking spot pull your truck in there, and that's when you get your ski ready to hit the water. Okay, so now that we're in the staging lane, there's a couple things that you wanna check off your list first and foremost. Number one is checking your drain plugs. Even if you're sure you got your drain plugs screwed in, it's good to double check them. It's kinda like checking the oven before you leave the house. Second, you're gonna wanna remove your tie-down straps. Whether you've got some ropes, some motorcycle straps, you're gonna wanna disconnect your ski right now. So we're gonna do that right here. Now we can take our cover off. You can either store it in the front bin of your watercraft or just put it in the truck and put it on when you're done. So before you leave the house or here in the staging lane, it's a good opportunity to hook up your lanyard and make sure that your battery has a nice healthy charge. You wanna bump the engine over let it run for maybe five, 10 seconds at the very most, just to make sure that your battery is a nice, healthy charge and you can fire up and have a really good day out on the water. Before my trailer even hits the water, there's a couple things that I like to do to give me a little bit of peace of mind and just makes the launching process all that more easy. First and foremost, always have your dock line ready. You don't want to have it in the front bin or in a storage compartment. You want to have it right there where you can reach it because as soon as you leave the trailer, you're going to be lashing up to a dock or another cleat. So I like to typically put it right there in front of the dashboard or in the footwell, really easy within reach. Number two is I have my life vest ready either on the seat itself or in the footwell. That way, when I jump on the ski, I can put on my life vest and off I go. The last and final thing that I like to add right before I launch the ski is make sure I have an anchor on hand, especially if I'm planning on pulling up to a sandbar or up to a beach. You definitely want to have this so that you're not scratching up the front of your ski or hurting your hull or sucking up all that sand and rock into your jet pump. So we keep this stored in its nice little secured area. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to pack those items that you definitely want within reach that are gonna be here in your glove box. We start with getting your phone in a waterproof case. If your watercraft comes with a waterproof case, this is the time to put it in. Make sure it's nice and secure, locked in. If you don't have a waterproof case that comes on your watercraft, there's plenty of waterproof phone cases that you can put on your phone or have a sealed waterproof phone case or Pelican case. Then you're gonna to wanna to bring your ID, your wallet, maybe a little bit of cash if you plan on stopping at the dock or getting some refreshments. Obviously, you're definitely gonna want some sunscreen. And then a good rule of thumb is to bring at least one bottle of water with you. You might even wanna consider bringing a snack or two. The last item you're gonna be putting in your glove box before you leave is obviously your car keys, but you currently need those to launch your watercraft, so we'll be putting those in later. A 
little tip for a lot of you guys who are a little less comfortable when it comes to backing your truck or your SUV into the water is you can drop the tailgate of your truck and you'll really be able to see your whole trailer and your watercraft as you go into the water. This is particularly helpful for guys who have a single place trailer or a really lifted truck. Equally for you guys with an SUV, you can just open up the tailgate in the back and back your trailer in just by turning right back around. It's pretty easy. Typically, I suggest that you don't deep launch your trailer unless you're doing it with a friend and he can sit on the watercraft and you can pull right in and let him go and pull out. Otherwise, if you're doing this by yourself, chances are you're gonna get your feet wet. You gotta come in, unlash the watercraft from the front winch, make sure it's free. I typically like to hook it on and then just give it a couple turns so that it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna flop around when you pull back out. Now, you can see that our watercraft really isn't that loose on the bunks. So you give it a little bit of a push just to free it up, and then you can climb on, fire up the engine, and pull right out. Our lanyard's already hooked up. We can just bump over the engine, give it a couple seconds, and if you have reverse, either manual reverse, or a smart reverse, just back up, give it a little bit of gas, off you go. And now I can tie up, and once we're all tied up, you can go get the truck bring the keys back, load up and off I go. Have a full day on the water. With the truck parked and my keys in the glove box, I'm good to go. So we just untie our rope, throw it in the front, fire up the engine, and off we go. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching the Watercraft Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. It's definitely gonna help us grow the channel. And if you want even more awesome jet ski content, make sure to hit that subscribe bell at the bottom so that you don't miss any one of the six videos that we put out every week. Additionally, we publish new articles every single day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription-free to you over at the Watercraft Journal. That's www.watercraftjournal.com where you can see all the awesome content, latest reviews, and technical articles like this every week.